Y'all like cliffhangers? How about two cliffhangers in one episode? How did they do that? So the first cliffhanger was Diablo flexing on them hoes. And thank God there was a demon hunter who even knew the power rankings of Tensera. This guy has been reading the light novels. He understood immediately. <gasps> Blanc? Rouge? How could you possibly speak on equal terms unless you were someone beyond Dark Demon? He goes, ah! He's a fucking fanboy. He was actually the reason why last episode was so fucking hyped. Sade, Glenda, Glenda running away was pretty fucking peak. Sade, honestly, he's pretty decent as well. I don't think they're evil people. They're just, I don't know about Glenda, but Sade, I don't think they're bad people. Ranga also, you know, tossing people aside, that Grigori or something. Zoomies, and the, the, the fucking 5,000 army got destroyed by Zoomies. Now, there was a spectator in the stand, someone, you know, with blue hair that maybe one of the maids, you know, we saw in the water previous, right? So when the luminary showed up and decided to destroy all the evidence, I think that something else is gonna happen. Also, in the Hinata versus Rimuru fight, the uh, Excalibur, no, the Dragon Slayer basically, you know, donutted Hinata, and then the luminary showed up. Another cliffhanger at that part. How are we going to resolve this? Let's begin today's reaction. You know what? I feel like we should let Adalman just take out a luminary. Like, he hates them so much. I want him to be here and just fuck him up too. She looks pretty dead already. Nah, nah. Cap. Gaslighting. Do you think that this girl actually enjoys being tied up right now? I wish she was blushing. I wish Soei was around too and just gave a quick look or something. Because, you know, remember that time when they went into the forest? <laughs> Wait, from the. <gasps> Traitor! Wait! He was not a dome! He was a traitor the entire time, or is he being controlled? Okay, he's also being controlled right now. Got it. Got it. He's also... Guard actually isn't evil. He's, you know, the great sword interference, the sword boom beam, he not the donut. Never mind. I'm wrong. I'm stupid. He is the one that shot Hinata. I thought the wavelength meant that, like, he was being controlled and so was the sword being controlled by the luminaries. But, like, bro literally shot. He literally shot Hinata. Okay, well, we can kill this guy. Of all the people here, I think that we can just safely kill the red-haired guy. Easy. What's underneath? So it's not the real guard. It's one of the luminaries right now. We take off, and then it's actually one of the luminaries? Well, who is this guy? <laughs> Let me just take off the disguise into another disguise where you can't see my face. Oh! <laughs> you know the fucking meme of like a wrestler where he has like a mask on? And he's like... Then he takes off the mask, but underneath it's the same fucking mask. Like, we kind of saw his face there, right? We kind of saw his, like, eyes underneath, but other than that, it's like, oh, what the fuck? Now, there is six divine luminaries. There are three here, and three at Diablo's place. But there's seven in total. Where is the other one? <laughs> Let's go to war, bitch. Diablo. 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 God and Demon Lord. God and Demon Lord. We know God Luminous. Luminous is a Demon Lord. God and Demon Lord. What the fuck kind of title is this? Let's go, bitch! Okay, you know what? Like, this is one of the few episodes where we need to stop yapping. Hinata is dying. We've been yapping for so long. Like, please. Please, somebody. Please. 
She's donated. She's bleeding out. We can't even heal it because her potions don't work and we're still fucking yapping. <laughs> Please! Hello? Anybody? They know. They know now. She is almost dead. Are they not strong though? No shot. You have everything to hide. Where's your face? Show me your fucking face, pussy. Anti-magic barrier in the holy field? Revise Hercules's Edge, made by our other, uh, you know, dwarf uh, Kijin friend that doesn't really talk so much. So this is a super OP sword now. Is, is it? Is it? Kurobe, that's right. Kurobe. Oh! Nice, nice! So basically, rewrite logic. It's actually fucking stupid OP. What? It's so strong that it could be hard. But it is, is Raphael just like glazing Shion right now? Raphael is, right? I, I, she would never hurt us, but like, she basically, Raphael's basically like, by the way, that attack so strong, it could actually damage you. Okay, okay. Okay. <laughs> Remember what I said about a confirmation is not an assumption or implication? Well, there must be more to it. Like, Bilzebub probably was sacrificed, right? It probably was, but like, it- Because like, the other Annie News video we watched? Remember what he said? About how, how, like, sometimes- I- I was like guessing like, holy shit, what if Bilzebub was sacrificed, but then it interacted with Hinata's holy shit, and then it like fused into a better skill, but... We still have it. We still have it. How do we have it? Let's see how that works. <laughs> Yeah, but she had a backup. <laughs> There's no problem. And this is what's called a confirmation. When the anime explicitly states without implications. Of course, everyone fucking thought Billy Bub was sacrificed. Of course, he fucking activated it. Raphael literally said it. But the anime can do some bullshit logic like this. In a moment where it was sacrificed, but there was a backup. You could have some other bullshit of, Oh, the Veltor got summoned fucking before Bilzebub had to get sacrificed and stopped it, right? There's different ways of fucking doing this. So that's why I was so adamant about how an assumption, an implication is not a confirmation. And then there is these fucking light novel fucking neckbeards. It's like, oh, you anime only are so fucking stupid. Shut the fuck up. No one likes you. All you do is harm your own franchise and gatekeep us from enjoying your show. It's so fucking cringe when you have these light novel readers that's just like stroking their fucking beard, just masturbating at their own fucking intellect for knowing ahead of the content. Like, fuck you. You're fucking cringe. <laughs> Let's think about that for a second. So Raphael can make backups of ultimate skills. I'm sure that's not specific to ultimate skills. Raphael can do even more. I don't know. We need to understand like what's a limitation. She seems to be just able to do whatever the fuck she wants to do. Yo, this is disintegration in season two. But it's Trinity Disintegration. Okay, let's see. Trinity Disintegration! Oh, he has a... <laughs> There it is. Uriel does not get enough fucking highlight. And he just videos kind of explained to us what it was. It's, it's it's like molecular level fucking, you know, changing shit. Even if we imbue the sword with like the dark flames, like absolute guard. So this is literally what it's saying. Absolute guard. Any attack. Fuck you. Yeah. The thing that was just like casually mentioned once. Bilzebub, Raphael, Storm Veldra, Uriel. The four ultimate skills. Uriel really gets no highlight. Finally, it's fucking mentioned. That's a good question. Why could we not. Why did Raphael not use it here? Like, straight up. 
Raphael's smart enough to know this. Maybe there's a limitation to this. Maybe this is so... Maybe Mel size penetrates... I, I don't know. Maybe Raphael just wanted to fucking flex. Raphael was like, <laughs> I just want to show you that I could make a fucking backup pussy. <laughs> you actually sacrificed it. Don't worry. I, I got you. I got you. <laughs> Raphael sensei. <laughs> cheeky. So cheeky. It's a scar joke. <laughs> 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 Sonna Bakana! Oh, I had the Sonna part there. I said a lot of random lines. Sonna Bakana is another one you can do. Okay. Nice one. Okay. Ew! Fucking get a skincare routine, motherfucker! Hinata casually still dying in the background. Oh, Sophia Melvis is here. I just want Luminous to show up. It's called God and Demon Lord. Please, I just wish Luminous to show up and just like blast these fucking geezers in front of everybody. Like, you motherfuckers suck. L, cringe, you're fired. Uh. Nah, she showed up? No, is she showing? No! Oh! 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 What's up, man? Oh, because Rimuru straight up was the only person that didn't even know what Waterproof is, right? Oh my god. Yeah, there was the running fucking gag of like, wow, he actually doesn't know, huh? Oh my god, he actually doesn't know. Wow. <laughs> Just for this fucking moment. He's straight up. <laughs> La Plus, better than Demon Lord Valentine. Easy. So Diablo blocked the attack. I thought that Rain would, you know? Um, the blue-haired arc uh, primordial for Guy Crimson. I don't even see her here anymore, actually. But um, looks like Diablo stopped the attack. There's still the missing 7th Luminary. Work with me now, bro. Work with me, Sare. This guy. Take the fucking notes. Make sure you get this stuff down. Hot drama, hot off the press. Primordial Butler defends against the 7 Luminaries, bro? Come on, get that shit out. Spread the news! Spread the news! <laughs> this changes everything! Get the fucking clickbait title in there! <laughs> Except the king? <laughs> you insulted our slime king, so fuck you. <laughs> Nice, nice. <laughs> the crown <laughs> fell off. Well, if he's gonna just uh, submit himself like this, this is a good opportunity to just say, all right, let Yom take your place. You know, fucking just, just sit down. Let her plan just take place. Don't care. <laughs> yep, easy, easy. Oh, this ASMR. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's so cool. <laughs> That's crazy. We're at a point where we're able to get the king to fucking yell at the journalist, just begging, please, please tell everybody Yom is my successor. Diplomacy at its finest, man. <laughs> Spread that shit! That's right! And that'll do. I and of course you Diablo. Trinity disintegrates? Bro, there's nothing! It's not even damaging the clothing, bro! What is this supposed to be? Like Hellfire? It's like a fucking sauna to him at best. Like, what's going on? Despair time. Despair time. New skill? Dioiki Tenkai. 
despair time. What? What? It's in his own domain. What? Despair time. Uh, unique skill? He didn't say unique skill. He didn't say ultimate skill. It's just his skill. <laughs> Ice? They're sealed. Oh, wait! They're physically actually getting crushed. I thought that domain was closing on. They're actually bleeding out their mouth. I don't know what this spare time is. But, like, he just put them in his own domain, then he literally shrunk it, and now they're gonna collapse. Into a ball? Seven luminaries, my ass. It's the fucking four luminaries now, bro. Also, the seventh is still missing. The seventh is still missing, but... We got the four luminaries now? The fuck was that skill? Any news needs to explain, bro. They literally did get folded. Literally got folded into Origami and then disappeared. What the fuck? Diablo folded the seven luminaries. Okay, back with uh, Luminous here. Kyle, you are who? I never understood what it meant to be cloistered, by the way. What does clo cloistered mean? Let's look at this, huh? So he always kept saying cloistered this, cloistered that. Cloistered. Having or enclosed by a cloister, as in monastery. Kept away from the outside world, sheltered. Got it. Basically a hidden uh, person, the hidden emperor, right? You gotta fucking just like put him behind the scenes. Got it. Because they always said cloistered emperor this, this, then that. Luminous. Oh, because they never saw. None of them has ever seen Luminous. Only Hinata gets to see because she's like the oracle or something. No one has ever seen Hinata. Luminous. This is like literally God in front of them. Please save her. The fuck is resurrection? So she's dead? Is, what about the body in the chamber, in the cryogenic chamber that I think is the hero? Does she do the same shit? Why can't she do that to Shizu too? Like, this power, I would like to know the limitations of it, but resurrection, that sounds insane. It's literally just resurrecting. We, our potion didn't work because... What was it? Uh, something about the potion was incompatible with humans. Magicules? It's because of the magicules, right? So that's why it didn't work, but resurrection just doesn't operate the same. Magic resistance, that's what it was. This isn't magic resistance though? A dead body can't resist. Does that make sense? I don't fucking know. No, you shouldn't let that slide. You should ask her right now. Demon Lord, holy magic. Can we use it too? Bilzybub. Uh, Bilzybub? Steal resurrection right now. Swallow it. Swallow. Right now! Why can't we do that? Can we copy? We, we should be able to copy. Just, just, just suck her up and then spit her out. Backstory at Japan. When she was summoned. When she was summoned. Oh, that's an unlucky as fuck summon. But... No! It's different. Because when Shizu was summoned, Leon Crumble was there. This is not a summon as like that. She just... Wind happened. Wind? And then, hello? No circles, no nothing. What the fuck? Why was she transported? Someone did it? Ew! Ew! It's kind of creepy as motherfucker. Ah. <laughs> That's why y'all gotta quit the gacha games, man. The dad, deadbeat, gamba, mom, domestic abuse. Kill him. Kinata, kill him. Kinata, do something. I hope you kill the dad. Ooh, she was willing to jump. Ooh, that's dark. Ooh, this is so dark. And this goes even more to solidify, like, when she was the ramen episode, remember? When she was, like, going by and seeing happy families, he's like, oh, I wish I had that kind of thing. Damn. Damn. What is this? So she sees the cliff. Oh, never mind. 
Never mind. She was not suicidal. Easy. Nice. Nice one. Nice one. <laughs> How did he do? I would like to see it. I would have loved to see it. Just yeet. Yeet. <laughs> <sighs> Victim of domestic abuse and Stockholm syndrome. You deserve better, mom. You brought the fucking broken ass glasses here. Ugh, you can't even blame the victim. You can, but it's just like, oh, this just sucks, huh? I talked to God this morning. God doesn't exist. Luminous does. And then, you know, usurp, take. That's what her core skill is. I see. Even summons, right, from their desires, the born, the skill, right? I'll fucking take it myself. Watch the world. Ooh. I am right. This is a Preserver? Preserver acquisition. <laughs> Damn, dude! And immediately, oh, that's the mathematician. But immediately after, just getting, you know, just ported here, she just does three v one bandit. That's gotta be like the most capable Isaka character immediately, bro. Holy shit! There was no tutorial, no nothing. It's just like, well, I'm here. I'm a fucking take what's mine. One v three. Shizu! Shizu? Take her. And then... Shizu and Hinata... Obviously Master Apprentice. And then at some point, she left her because of abandonment issues. Right? She was afraid of being alone or something, or being left behind due to the family shit. So she decided to go off on herself. And she's up. You look like Shizu. You look like Shizu. Legal. Legal. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I was doing some math too. Yes, I was. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, Raphael should have done the calculation for us, but then Raphael's like, ugh. You fucking degenerate piece of shit. I'm not gonna do the fucking math for you now. Mm -hmm. I mean, there's a hole. There's a hole. Oh, the rig. The beauty makes her move is literally something Rimuru just thought of, right? Rimuru's always thought that she was a beauty, right? Rimuru literally got Predator because he said he was going to be tired of being a fucking virgin in his, you know, his old life. So he's like, I'm going to take what's mine. But then he just became like a gender fucking neutral slime blob with no... Uh, no libido, but like, is this a ship? There's no way this is a ship, right? There's there's no way Hinata and Rimuru is a thing. Maybe? Maybe? True? Hello? No. <laughs> rolled. Steam rolled. Oh. They're the four days now. Good job, Diablo. I folded them, <laughs> and the news spread. <laughs> oh, so merciful, old man. Yeah. Would they be happy that God Luminous is willing to execute them? Cap. Cap. Nah, nah. Get rid of this. <laughs> Death blessing is holy magic too? I don't know. Hands showed up out of fucking nowhere and took their soul. Their body disintegrates. That's their soul. The soul literally just gone. Gone. Done. What's the limitation of death blessing? If she used that on us... Death blessing versus ultimate guard, Uriel. Who knows what the limitation is? We'll have to see with any news content. Ah, uh, now, go back to my old reactions. What did I say after this? What are we going to do? Uh, Luminous and Hinata, they're going to come over. Ramen, Gyoza, uh, Hot Spring, Peking, Fun Times. Woo! Vacation time. Yep, meeting time. Meeting time. Back to meeting, boys. Here we go. Church? Rotsu? Church? Eastern? The seventh luminary. The voice. Do I notice? 
He's probably like a famous anime voice actor, but yeah, yeah, he's he's a definitely familiar voice actor. Do we know this guy? He's the seventh one because there are three that's gone, three Diablo. He's like the literally the last Luminary alive right now. Who? Hinata's boyfriend. Not yet. Hinata's number one fan. I like this guy. I like this guy. The fake. Yeah, it was fake. He doesn't give a fuck, but if you mess with Hinata... Hinata probably leaked... No, did she leak? Did, did Hinata leak to, you know, Nikolaus? That it, it bought them. So Nikolaus is like, so like, does our god actually exist? And Hinata's like... Mm. Maybe? I don't know. Got it? What's that necklace? What is that necklace? <laughs> Finally! Yo! Wonder why he had to use a necklace for that. Uh, Hinata had to use talismans and shit for disintegrate, right? Anyway, this is fucking sick. Let's go, Nicholas. Ikemen. Look at him fucking waving his hair afterwards. But looks like this is a catalyst for disintegrate. And once it's done, it's done. It's over. Okay. Number one simp. Oh. Oh. Um. This is kind of dangerous. Is it funny or dangerous? Because like Luminous is gone. But he's like, nah, nah. Hinata is gone. So... The simping needs to be maintained, or else he might get smited as well. <laughs> Not to me, at least. <laughs> That's why his voice actors sound similar. Oh my god! Luminaries! Roto! Oh shit! What the fuck is going on? What about the other luminaries? They should be dead, right? Angels! Angels! Maribel would know when the angels are attacking. Remember, this is the, uh, what's it called? The Tenma War, which was implied that once civilization has come to some point, advanced, the angels will come down and smite them down. So she would somehow know that though? She has contact? Is she a fucking prophet? It will happen. She seems to be some kind of clairvoyant girl, huh? Maribel of Greed. Maribel of Greed. So is the Seven Deadly Sins gonna like happen here too? Other cartoons we're watching, like Hell of a Boss, Asmin Hotel, that's like Greed, Gluttony, Sin, blah, blah, blah. But like... Maribel of Greed, I wonder if this matters or not. Maribel of Greed. Veldra! Veldra is luminous. Look at the luminous, bro. Holy. She fucking hates him. Drama. Drama that spans way back. Oh my god, bro. Those are murder fucking eyes. Nani? Yeah, if you remember it. Yeah, secrets out. Whoa! Yo, her sword is literally the same. Oh my god. Blue red. I, blue red. Has a ro blue rose on it? Damn. She's color coded to the sword, too? A lot of people would pay for that treatment. What the oh. fuck is going on? Of all the battles of today's episode, the Luminous Vel versus Veldera was the most, you know, in terms of power skill, in terms of lore, this should be the most serious, but it's the most funny. It's just, a, just, just having fun right now, but that's crazy. Luminous vs. Veldora is something I never fucking would have imagined today.
Oh, dude, she almost has, you know, Kazuma almost has this in uh, Konosuba, right? <laughs> drain touch, but like, it gets you pain while draining at the same time. Spiritual attacks. Pain on spirit. Big headed! How many people would love this kind of treatment from Luminous, though? Straight up, people would fucking love this shit, man. People would pay money to do this shit, man. We're all friends now! Church art all, all done! <laughs> we got a special ending visual that we're gonna watch right now, okay? We're gonna watch the special, you know what? <laughs> Beltra and the Cloistered Emperor. Yeah, Hot Spring episode. I thought they would have like an episode dedicated towards the Hot Spring shit. Like we always do that shit. But the ending visuals will do it, huh? Woo! Jesus. Sufi with hair tied up. Hinata can't make eye contact. She's too nervous. Tempura. Sashimi. That's right, Japanese food. Let's go. How did I made it? Bro, bro, I want some tempura now. Luminous? <laughs> like, what? Like, like... I... Like, like, of all the ways to eat something, you're like... <laughs> come on. They're, they're, come on. Come on. They know what they're doing. They know what they're doing. Don't act like I'm a fucking coomer. They know what they're doing. Yo! Left side, left side, left side. So a eh? the girl bond this girl. Yo, that's a thing. That's a thing. It's still happening. What about Gabiru's sister, bro? What about Gabiru's sister? Cucked. She own armor so easy. <laughs> Gobzo, do Gobzo's juggling knives and entertain builder, bro. Gobzo, oh my god, the power scaling for Gobzo, bro. You gotta respect this man. The immortal fucking Gobzo entertaining, bro. Veldro the Storm Dragon right now has all of his intentions on Gobzo. The power scaling, bro. Oh my goodness. What's going on with there? What's going on, Rigard? Nah, you, you, you're just homies, right? You're just bros, right? But like, this is Bara. This is straight up fan service for Bara right now. It 100% is. And Albus is just drinking like crazy. Sophia passed out. Rimuru looking fine as ever. Woo! That was a funny ending. Next time, reconciliation and agreement, aka we are back to meetings. But hey, it is what it is. We've gotten a lot of episodes of hype shit popping off. And you know how the tensor of formula works. Meetings need to happen. World building, diplomacy, politics. So that you understand why these action scenes matter. Today's episode peak 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of fucking 10, bro. Of all the things to happen, I did not imagine Veldra versus Luminous. It's not a real fight, but you know, that's fucking crazy. Also, Nikolaus saying that Hinata is my only god. <laughs> oh my god, dude, don't let Luminous hear this. And Rotso family, the seventh luminary was Rotso, bro. I think it's safe to say that the other six is pretty much dead, and they're probably not, you know, they probably weren't, you know, uh, uh, Rotso family, right? But like, goddamn. This episode was so action-packed. It was so fucking good. My favorite moments? I don't even know. Diablo using the crazy shit and just like sealing off, you know? And see, just folding the luminary and then making the newspaper press go crazy and then Yom is in? Rimuru just using, you know, fucking, what's it called? Um, Uriel's skill, ultimate guard. Bilzebub was backed up. Raphael's cheeky as fuck didn't even tell us about it. Luminous showing up and just deciding to whip everybody up. Oh man, all the luminaries are gone. But the last one remains, and it's a Rotu family. And Marigold of Greed somehow can anticipate into the future as if, as, as if she has clairvoyance or something, but hey. Plot's getting pretty interesting, and that's it for me. If you're still here, if you didn't enjoy this reaction, please like the video, check out the other playlist for more content, and until next time, take care.